All right, today I'm going to show you guys how we make our live deck sprockets. It's a WR78 chain, inch and a half board, and that uh, eventually gets uh, put a key in it and it drives the live deck on our Pro HD processor. So this is the finished product here. And what we start with is two pieces, a one inch, three inch circle, and a three quarter, six and a quarter inch circle. Put a bevel on the one inch, or on the one inch circle, and a corresponding bevel on the three quarter inch. We drill it through with a three eighths hole. We put a dowel pin and drill it, or weld it nice and hot for good penetration. That brings us this piece here. From there, we're gonna drill this out to inch and a quarter, which I've already done. And then we're gonna put it on the standard modern lathe. We're gonna do two ops. First off, we're gonna hold it from the inside, and we're gonna make this face 2.80 inches, and also ensure that it's parallel with this bore. Then we're gonna take this down to 6.125 inches, also making sure it's parallel with that bore. And we're gonna flip it around, grab it from our now parallel surface here, and we're gonna face this, and then we're gonna bore this out to 1.5005 for a slip fit over our inch and a half drive shaft. So, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is get this guy set up here. Maybe grab from the inside so I have to shrink these down. Put this guy on here. Get it slightly tight, and then make sure it's pushed all the way home. Make sure she's somewhat prepared. Okay. Now tighten her up the rest of the way. Okay. So first, we're going to face on there. Check my bit. It's not brand new, but it'll work. That's a carbide insert there. Sandvik makes that. Pull that right up there. All right, feeds and speeds. Probably want to run that at uh, 570. So we're going to speed box up to 570. I'm going to touch off. Back her out. Make sure I'm in the right direction on my cross. All right, turning her on. And then going to go in. is now perpendicular to our inside bore. Went fast so we don't have great surface finish, but because this is just pre-machining before it goes CNC, we're not too worried about the surface finish there. So we're gonna be satisfied with that. All right, next step, we're gonna be making this parallel to the inside bore. So I'm gonna back this out. I'm gonna to touch it off again. Okay. So first we're gonna make it parallel and then we're gonna bring it down to 2.80. So my first pass here, I'm gonna take a 10 thou off of my radius just to make sure there aren't any bumps. Okay. So we almost got it round, there's a few spots there that it's not but should be able to get a good measure on that. Get my calipers out here. Sterrett's made in Massachusetts, pretty good. Okay, so I'm reading 2.991. And I want to get that down to 2.80, so I got to get 191 thou off the diameter. And I'm going to do that in 20 thou off the radius pass. So each cut's going to take 40 thou. So it'll be three full cuts and one partial cut to get it there. So 
Gonna get her turned on here. So you can see, we've got perfectly round, concentric to the center, all the way here. Pretty nice surface finish. We still got a little bit of undercut on the weld. We'll take these calipers. 2.80 is our goal. And we are at 2.865. So we have to take 65 thou off. So one more full, and then that'll leave us with 25. So that'll be 12 thou on radius. So we're gonna go 20 thou on radius now. Should be 2.80 plus or minus 10 thou, not super accurate. And look at that, 2.80 dead nuts right on the money. Sweet. Maybe a half thou off. All right, so now we've got that done. Our next step, we're going to take this, flip it around, and actually grab it from our new board because now we know this and that are perfectly parallel, and this and that are perfectly perpendicular. So, we'll loosen this up, give ourselves a little room here. A little warm, but not too bad. Open that chuck up. Make sure our teeth are clean so we get good Engagement. Not too much slipping. All right. I'll take this, put her in there. Don't get it too far. We'll get her set back down. And again, we'll make sure that back face is flush. Good, tighten her up. All right, so you got two things to do here. It's gonna get down to 6.125. We're gonna face that. So now we're working on a six inch radius here or diameter here versus a three inch before. So if I try cutting at 570 RPMs now, it's gonna be way too much surface speed. So it's gonna damage the carbide 
not going to have good surface finish and won't be productive. So I'm going to drop it down probably about half. This doesn't have a massive gearbox, only got 16 steps. So I'm going to go from 570 to 340. That should work out pretty good. My only other option is 210, or I can switch into a low range and get 254, but 340 is going to be good. Again, this isn't a super high precision part. Make sure it's using gear. Okay. Probably start with the outside. So we'll get the big boy calipers out. I don't like these digital calipers, but to get uh, dial calipers in this size are quite expensive. These digital ones are cheaper and we're not going to be super accurate here. So 3.785, so basically 6, point, six and 3 eighths. And we want to go down to 6 and 1 eighths. So that is 250 thou approximately that we have to take off. It is exactly uh, 250 would be 1.6285. So it's actually 260 thou we want to take off. So we'll do a measurement midway, but right now I'm going to touch off here. Now this could be pretty out of round, so I'm not even going to go in any. I'm just going to turn her on. contact if you look here on just under half of the whole part so you can see that and then this part's all still low oh actually we made a little more contact there so we're probably over half contact so I'm gonna now go in 20 thou on my dial look here go to 10 so I'm now taking 40 thou off that radius and then we're going to measure, but that should get us fully round, except for maybe where the burn table pierced. So we'll go in. mark off the burn table we're pretty much fully round a few spots on the taper but we'll be able to get a good measure here get the calipers back out put them on make sure she's square 6.330 so if I go 200 thou that's 6.130 and then I need to go to 6.125 so because it's first thing on a Sunday morning, we're going to get out my phone, use the calculator, make sure we don't make any mathematical errors there. Get the calculator app out. So 6.3300 minus 6.125, 205 thou from here in 40 thou increments. So that's going to be five full cuts and a partial. So we're going to go four full cuts and then measure. It's not all is perfectly repeatable. So four full, we'll take 160 thou off, we'll measure. So here we go. There's 40. Set. So this should leave us with 45 
Now you can see the color is getting less blue because we're going slower as we go inside. So it's a little less hot. Eventually here we'll probably get the third we could pick up that speed and get a better selection on the gearbox. But what we're doing today, it's gonna be fine. So now we're gonna stop with the measure. Okay, pretty decent surface finish. Let's get rid of this stuff here. Take our measure, so we should be at 6.165 to 6.7. We're at 6.6. 6. So we have to get to 125, we have 43 thou to go. Again, early Sunday morning. We're going to double check the math, 1680 minus 6.125, 43,000 go right there, so my math isn't too half bad. So I'm going to go 21 and a half on the dial, and with the tolerance plus or minus 10,000, we should hit that dead nuts, but we'll see. So 21 and a half. Engage. Let's see how she does. And let's see how we did. Six point one two five is the goal. Make sure we're parallel here. 6.126, so we are over by 10 thou right at the top end of the tolerance, so we're gonna call it good. Not much tolerance on here because the CNC is actually gonna go and make this circle here and it actually touches the points to get exactly six inches, so we don't really need to worry about 10 thou is gonna affect the first cut on that CNC and we are still within tolerance. So, Next step, all we're going to do is face this to make sure this and that is perpendicular. And then this face and that face there are parallel pretty easily. You can come in here, no measurement required. CNC is going to set the final width. Going to touch off. We're going to back her out, engage. We're going to bump it a little bit. Maybe that first cut will do. And now we're going to go into the cross feed. There we go. They'll tell right away if you've got enough. You can hear there that we're not doing the full engagement. I'll show you guys that. So we're almost full, but see that dark spot right there? It means we're not touching there, so we got to cut just a little deeper. And then we should be good. So now I'm going to lock my way lock in place. If it doesn't carry, it could be slightly aggressive cut. We'll lock that. You don't have to go crazy with that. You don't want to break it. It's just, just get her snug. Now we'll turn her on. Engage. It might be an aggressive cut. We might have to slow down the feed, but it should be all right. Nice chip. Yeah. Solid 40, almost 50 thou. Put that down there. Alright, so now the final thing we need to do is we need to get this bore to inch and a half. I can't get a good measure there because I got a burr. But first I'm just gonna go in with my boring bar. Let's take this quick change. Grab my boring bar. Now with the boring bar, you want to make sure that that rake angle is set right. So you don't want that to be parallel with this surface, you want it to be slightly down. And that looks good right now. Clean out this, make sure we're somewhat clean here so we don't get any binding. And just drop this in here. 
locker in. Now this adjusts your height. You want to be cutting at or just slightly below uh, center. I already checked that, so we're good there. Now all we're going to do, we're going to increase our feed rate. There it goes. Now we're going to increase our RPMs because we're working on the small, probably 570. Okay. Now we're cutting this way. So you want to get your backlash opposite on your cross slide. So I just moved it a little bit. Then I'm going to engage over here. I'm going to go in the hole. I'm going to touch off to the wall. There I am. I'm going to come out. And that's just going to clear out that bore so we can get a measurement. I think we're actually within 50 thou where we want to be. So you can see how much faster it's going now. Engage the long feed. So we're going to want to go off 47 thou. Or I'm sorry, we're going to want to go up uh, 68, 73 thou. On the inside cut, I like to go 10 thou at a time. 10 thou in radius is 20 thou. So I'm going to do three full cuts and then measure. So there's 10. There we go. We're almost making full contact. Some surface finish in there but we'll improve it by slowing the feed rate for our final pass and we have 20 thou to go so we are eight five we want to be at five zero zero five so 20 thou to go but i'm going to slow the feed rate down cut it in half just to improve the surface finish for that last little bit i'm going to go 20 thou on the dial and we're going to come in and finish her off Decent surface finish. We'll measure it to check for 
right diameter. 1.5005, 1.50055, so we're within a half foul. That's pretty goddamn good, good by my books. And there we have it. That's a sprocket ready for the CNC. Take this off here. It's going to be a little warm. Get some sort of glove here to take it off. Okay, very good. And that's that. Next step is the CNC, ready to go.